and welcome back to Let's Build a Reaver Titan Part 4. Five, no, not Part 4, Part 5, definitely Part 5. Don't know why I said Part 4, it's definitely Part 5. I keep getting the titles and the numbers of the videos messed up. That's right, guys. So, uh, if you can't tell by the absolute utter fucking carnage on my desk, um, I'm having a fucking bad time. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, guys. I've... I've, I've just I've just had a fucking a huge fucking meltdown um, <laughs> because of a stupid stupid fucking thing stupid parts. Um, let me just I've got to clear up some of this fucking glue. There's just like epoxy and and fucking tissues and super glues and plastic putty just everywhere, just all over the fucking show. Uh, basically, guys, I've spent the majority of my time from between the last video and this video building the legs of this fucker right here and um this is where the fucking frustration began um first and foremost i will describe the process on doing these legs i've been putting these legs off for a fucking long time because quite frankly they've been terrifying me because the leg builds of titans are notoriously the most difficult part i can do the tops fine Oh, my voice broke. <coughs> my voice just cracked. My voice just broke up. Then what the fuck happened? Oh, yeah, I can do the top parts absolutely fine. There's no issues with that whatsoever in regards to doing that. It's always the legs I have trouble with. In the past, Moggy built the uh, the Warhound legs. And uh, now, because of this fucking lockdown, I've lost my fucking safety net. So I can't actually go around to his and go, Moggy, can you bail me out and build these legs for me? So I've had to do it myself. My bastard self. My shitting bastard self with my shitting stupid brain. Um, so yeah, so first and foremost, I agonised for ages over how I wanted the legs. I'm going to have to zoom, pull the camera back a little bit here because um, otherwise it's not going to actually... In fact, I can barely fit it all in the frame. Anyway, I'll just do a couple of pans up and down. Uh, but yeah, so it took me ages to work out how I actually wanted the legs to, to, to be, how I wanted them to look. Uh, I wanted a stable uh, position. I wanted a stable leg pose for it. But I wanted a little bit more movement. I didn't want to just go static, just have like leg, leg widespread, you know, like he's like, you know, popping a squat on someone. Um, so I decided, you know, I'm, I'm going to fuck about with it, but I just, I put it off for so long and I was just like, oh, I didn't know what to do. But then I remember the advice that Moggy gave me, the sage advice, you may say. And he said, start with one leg, build up, build across and build down. And do you know what? That advice saved my fucking bacon. Um, the legs are pretty much all glued with epoxy. Uh, there's no pins in here. I know some people like to put pins going all the way up through here, but the epoxy that I use is very, very good. Um, again, I use the Evo stick stuff, uh, and it, it, it just did its job for me. Uh, and it, I mean, this this isn't going anywhere. This is this is rock solid. Um, there are pins, as I showed in the last one, going into the uh, the actual um, hip pieces here. No need for a pin in the middle, as I found out, because the, the actual surface area and the contact that you get with the ball joints is just far it's just totally adequate for what you need to do um so i i did the legs i i did it very slowly like i i wanted to, i wanted so badly to just like fucking go balls to the wall and do it all in one night but i just couldn't i had to let one leg dry so that i did this i had this ready and waiting um and then i put the um the the hip uh, section on here and it's the only actual uh, model I've ever had to use. I've about to actually get a spirit level uh, out for, so I have to actually make sure that this is uh, balanced and make sure that it's it's pretty much um, in the uh, pretty much in the in in the, in the right way, pretty much the right way around, pretty much balanced, and it's not going to topple over. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit rocky and a little bit wibbly wobbly right now because uh, I've not got the toes on it. Once the toes are added, the toes. I know these are probably the right ones for the right toes. As long as the toes are added, that's going to add a hell of a lot of stability. It's it's, ne it's not going to fall over at all. And also when I added the base, it's definitely, definitely not going to fall over them. Um, so that went off without a hitch. Uh, I also um, added a magnet. So we've got a big old magnet in that top bit there. And then this uh, is the other bit. This has got a magnet in. This actually connects into this section here like that. So that has a little bit of freedom of movement here so you can pose it a little bit. Um, they're big old, big old fucking neodymiums. Uh, and that is, oh Jesus, I just uh, nearly uh, turned the camera off then. And that fits in there pretty much perfectly. It gives it still freedom of movement to turn it and it's very, uh, very strong. I actually um, experimented, let's pull the light uh, back down a little bit there. Uh, I actually, nope, 
Okay, let's just let's not do that then. My, I need to tighten my light apparently. Um, so yeah, I actually experimented with a couple of neodymiums. Um, I was I was going to use these fucking stupid things. Um, I ordered these because I thought, oh, yeah, we'll see what these are. And they're just they're so fucking strong. I can I can barely get them apart. <laughs> Come on, you bastards. The these are fucking stupid. Um, I would have been, I'd definitely been able to get them in the, uh, in, in the in the hip bit here, but there's no way these... Oh, shit! Oh, bastard! It's just fucking... I went to grab this and it's just fucking pinched my fucking skin. Yeah, there was no no way in hell that that was fitting in there. It's just far too, far too thick. Fucking shit the bed. Ow, that hurt. Don't put really powerful neodymiums together, guys, because you're going to hurt yourself. But yeah, these are so strong, I can't... I can't actually... I can't actually get them apart. <laughs> that's that's so they're probably going to stay there forever. They're going to live on my light pretty much forever. Um, also, I'm, I'm going to have to sort this light out. What the fuck is going on here? It's just it's. I need to tighten it up, but I can't. Maybe it's because I've got two fucking massive magnets stuck on it. That's probably why. I'll put it on my shelf there. Jesus. Uh, but yeah. So. Um, oh my god. The lights just completely not right. I've completely fucked this light for this video. Um, but yeah, so, uh, once I did that, once I got all the legs together and and and, 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 and uh, I magnetised it. Oh, another thing, I actually had to buy uh, some new tools, which was good. I, um, where's my tools? I uh, wanted, I've been using drill bits, uh, regular style drill bits mainly, for um, doing the uh, magnetisation on it. However, for this, for the hip bit, I had to actually get something new, which actually I don't have in my arsenal, which I should have bought a long time ago. And this is a Forstner bit, uh, and that basically drills you out a cylindrical hole with a flat bottom to it. And it's actually quite good because um, this little hole here, it drills in first and then it helps the rest of it bite. Uh, and that actually gives you almost like a little reservoir for excess epoxy to like go into, which is quite nice. But as we always like, you know, it's always good to uh, play with power tools. I love, I love power tools on this channel. It's very, very good. Uh, but yeah, so um, the next thing, and this is the thing, this is the thing that fucked me off the most, it, and it's these, these leg pistons with the armor plates on them. Oh Jesus fucking Christ, was I pissed off at this? I was that pissed off. I flew into a horrible, horrible rage, and I actually made a new storage system for my tools. As you guys can see there, yes, that is indeed a paintbrush stabbed into my wall and two craft knives. And there was a pair of pliers in this one as well. Uh, basically, um, this is just fucking infuriates me. It infuriates me. It infuriates me to think about it uh, still, um, even after the fact that it's done. Um, it's kind of hard to show you guys, um, but remember the, uh, the, the last one of the other episodes where I showed you the backs of these, how they're like... Um, hollow half cuffs. I can't remember if I did or not. I, I should really like watch my videos before I do them. But anyway, um, they have basically, so if you take into account this bit, they have a cup on the back of it that you glue on. So it basically makes a hole for a piston. The piston goes in and out. However, the annoying thing is, is you see this bit here. This is the same on every single one of these like leg pistons. Um, the actual piston inside is free to move about. Now I glued these little cuff bits in here and in regards to getting it in, it was just a pain in the ass because I, I felt like I needed an extra pair of hands because I couldn't get it in. I couldn't get it in there, in there, and then pull this up. It was just it was just too awkward, and I've still got fucking glue all over my fingers from it. Um, and it is oh my fucking god, I, it was so annoying, so frustrating, so rage filled. And I thought that it was because the legs went together really easily, and that like, putting the magnets in it really easily. It was, I think it was karma just fucking me over, just going, Do you know what, you've had it too easy now, Jojo man. We're gonna fucking fuck you up now. Um, so yeah, I did that, and I actually had a little bit of an accident with this one where I forced it in. You can kind of let me just zoom in a little bit closer there. Um, you can kind of see um, it cracked. Uh, and that that was when that was when I fucking lost it. That's when I fucking the red mist descended, the red haze, and I just fucking stabbed the shit, ever loving shit, out of my wall. Um, but in the end, I did overcome this issue, and I overcame it uh, using three uh, products. I overcame it using epoxy, using plastic putty, and using super glue, the gel form. Uh, what I ended up doing, I ended up using epoxy for the little holes here, for the cuffs here, for the sockets, uh, because that would give me uh, 
a decent amount of time to be able to manipulate it and move it. I then, in the actual inside bit where you put the piston, I squirted loads of plastic putty because, again, that would allow me to uh, move it up and down and it would stop and stay and stick where I wanted it to and then all I always have to do is let it dry. And then I used the um, uh, 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 gel superglue for an instant stick to stick it into there. So basically the process was put the glue on it all, pop it into the ball socket, then manoeuvre it into this bit, lift the piston up, and then cuff it into there like that, and that way it would stick. So this sticks straight away, this sticks second, and then this dries overnight, and it actually dries solid, which I was very, very happy about. Um, I was also slightly worried, after I glued the legs in, that it wasn't going to be right in regards to the toes. Like, as you can see here, there's not a lot of space for the toes. However, if I just find a... Uh, it's the left, re uh, left rear toe. Okay, we've got a side toe here. And this one, that's another side. Front, uh, front rear side. God damn it, come on. Side. Uh, fuck it, it doesn't even matter. Um, but yeah, so, um, I, I, was, I, was, I was so like, fucking stressing about this, and it stressed me out to fuck, because I was like, oh my god, am I going to have to rip the legs apart, and ruin all the epoxy, and drill it back out, and in the end, if I just pop that rear toe on there, that side toe on there, and then I put the rear toe on here, look at that, guys, there's literally about half a centimetre space in between, and it actually fits perfectly, I was very happy with that, and... That is where I left it, because I thought to myself, do you know what, I'm doing no more to it, I need to have a fucking rest, I need to have a brew, I need to have a smoke, I need to do something um, to just calm myself down, because I got in a frantic fucking mood. But anyway guys, this has been quite possibly the biggest trial so far of the project. Um, now, I'm very much looking forward to getting all this painted, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to find, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at doing the, um, the rear uh, there's, there's pistons in the uh, the back of the knees here. I'm going to look at doing that next. Uh, then I'm going to spray the whole thing and I'm going to paint it up. Uh, and then I'm going to put on the leg carapace and do all that kind of good stuff after the fact. Um, so my computer's just dinged for some reason. Uh, but yeah, so that's all for this episode, guys. Please, please, please let me know what you think in the comments. <coughs> <coughs> Coronavirus. Um, I'm going to let, let me know... What, um, what do you think of the comments in the doobly doo down below? I'd be very, very interested to hear your thoughts. If any of you ever done a revo, any of you ever done a big build like this, please tell me what is your biggest trial that you've had to go through? What is the thing that has just fucked you off immensely and just really, really pissed you off? Enough to make you stab a fuckload of holes in your wall. Um, but anyway, guys, that being said, I'm going to uh, leave it there. So don't forget to check out the Facebook group. Don't forget out to check out the Instagram. All links with the doobly doo down below, and I'll see you in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. See you now, and goodbye.